Here we are in Rockport Quarry, Michigan, looking at a classic example of a Devonian reef ecosystem. The rocks here are part of the Traverse Group. You have the Bell Shale, the Rockport Quarry Limestone, and then over top it all, the Ferron Formation. And in these Devonian reefs, the organisms were a little bit different from the reefs you might think about today. The major reef building organism of that time was actually a sponge. It was this particular sponge. This is called a stromatochoroid. You can see it has this kind of um, rounded shape. It would be growing up from the sea floor, growing outwards. If we look inside it, you might be able to see some of these layers that were created as this sponge grew upwards. And um, if you saw the top of this sponge, it would have these like little bumpy things on it. And that's your typical stromatochoroid sponge that was the major reef builder here. But just like reefs today don't have one single organism, they have, you know, quite a bit of a, an entire diverse ecosystem, so did the Devonian reefs. So if we look over here, we can see part of a rugose coral. Rugose corals are also sometimes called horn corals. Those were common in this reef. Right above it, we have another one of those stromatoporoid sponges. And then we also had um, another type of coral over here called cladopora. And uh, this would be growing off the seafloor, growing upwards. Now, in this nice, diverse uh, reef ecosystem, we would also have had things like crinoids and bryozoans, but this uh, quarry here is also known to host the uh, greatest diversity of Devonian vertebrate fossils. Now, the Devonian was the age of fish, so most of those vertebrate fossils are different types of fish, uh, including things called placoderms, which were these fish that had armored plates covering and protecting them. So right here in Rockport Quarry, we can, uh, you know, look back in time and see the beauty of a reef ecosystem from the Devonian.